What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Independent Experience. I'm IndyXP, and this is your morning market wake-up call for Tuesday, July 28th, 2020. It has been quite the roller coaster the last 24 hours. We have seen some new highs, and we've seen some pullbacks. Let's go ahead and jump onto the markets and see where we're going to be starting today off at. Gold is down, currently at 1939.06. Silver is steady at 23.86, giving us a ratio of 81.27. Now, those numbers being in mind, last night by 10.30, we saw gold well over 1950. Uh, 1960, 1970, and silver was actually up over $26 at one point, if you can believe it. So while most of us were sleeping in our beds, we saw a ratio down under 77. That's right. We saw a major, major leap, but those numbers have come back down to uh, near the levels that we were yesterday. Platinum has taken a little bit of a hit, it's down to 938.33, and palladium has pulled back quite a bit, currently at 2365.91. In other metals markets, rhodium is steady at 8800. Copper is down a few cents, currently at 289, and aluminum is steady at $1. Uranium is also steady at $32 even. Barrels of crude oil are pretty steady, currently at 41.39 a barrel. And we saw a slow day on, on Wall Street, but we did see gains. The uh, Dow Jones was up 114 points at 26.584.77. The NASDAQ was up 173 points at 10,536.27. And the S&P 500 was up 23 points at 32.39.41. Wall Street futures are pointing down this morning, not majorly, but they are pointing down. So expect there to be a small drop once that bell rings this morning. If you guys trade in Bitcoin, well, you guys are laughing all the way to the bank. We saw a spike overnight, spiked all the way at 11,400. It has come back down, but it is starting to climb once again. It's currently at 111,203. If you guys trade in the Utah Goldback, those are up currently at $3.23. I expect that number to come down a few cents once they open up this morning. In today's video, we are reviewing an article that comes to us by uh, way of Kitco News from Anna Golubova titled, Will Trump's Judy Shelton Fed Nomination Dispute? disrupt or fuel the gold price rally. Now, if you guys don't know who Judy Shelton is, this article is going to detail her um, pretty closely. And I think us here in the community are going to be very happy to have this nomination go through. Let's go ahead and jump on in. U.S. President Donald Trump, Donald Trump's pro-Federal Reserve nominee Judy Shelton is likely to be good news for gold, supporting low interest rates and many QE policies, analysts told Kitco News. Shelton is now one step closer to landing a Fed seat after the Senate Banking Committee approved her as a nomination to the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors in a 13-12 uh, to 12 party line vote last week. Christopher Waller's nomination was also approved at the same time. Trump's nomination has been viewed as many, or has been viewed uh, as very controversial due to Shelton's views on certain topics, including the return to the gold standard. Fed's independence and an insurance bank, uh, insurance of bank deposits. Back in 2009, she began an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal with the words, let's go back to the gold standard. But after Trump's nomination, which was made public last year, Shelton has been downplaying her controversial views and have been aligning herself closer with Trump's opinions on the Fed, which is, has also been a concern with many critics. After being an avid critic of low interest rates during the Obama administration, Shelton now supports Trump's views that rates should be near zero. 
The next step in the nomination process will be a confirmation vote by the, the full Senate. In this case, even if just four Republicans vote against Shelton, she will not get the nomination, assuming that all the Democrats who vote will be voting will be a unified no. Republican Senator Mitt Romney already spoke out saying that he will vote against the nomination. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to be endorsing Judy Shelton's nomination to the Fed, Romney told reporters last week. I will be voting against her. Economists and analysts do not see Shelton as a big threat to the Fed, expecting little change in the central bank's overall message even if she is approved. Quote, I don't think Judy Shelton will have any immediate impact on the path of monetary policy. Fed Chair Powell steers the discussion at the Fed's regular meetings and seeks to forge consensuses. Consensi? Consensus? <laughs> uh, Shelton will be a will be able to air her views, but will be just one voice on the committee. She will need to persuade others on the committee that her views uh, of her views to make a practical difference. I don't see that happening. Capital economist, senior U.S. economist, uh, economist Michael Pierce told Kitco News on Monday. The possible Fed chair nomination if Trump is reelected. The biggest fear Shelton's critics have is that Trump's win, uh, if Trump wins re-election, he might choose to nominate Shelton as the new Fed chair after Powell's term ends in 2022. The big question is whether, assuming he is reelected, Trump would nominate her to replace Powell as Fed chair when his term expires uh, in 2022. Her board experience would make her a more credible candidate for that post, uh, for which she would need to go through Senate confirmation again. If that were the plan, Shelton may end up voting in line with the consensus on the uh, FOMC and support low rates and calm fears among senators that she is a maverick who would be in, in, in danger to the economic recovery, Pierce said. The worry is that the Fed will lose some of its independence if Trump's political ally took over the chair role. Shelton is an informal advisor for the Trump 2016 election campaign. So what does this mean for gold? The former gold standard advocate and now policy dove is likely to be a good is likely to be good for the current gold rally analysts say. Quote, at the end of the day, if she ends up on the board, she will have to be pragmatic. Horizons ETF portfolio manager Nick Picard told Kitco News, quote, if Powell started or when Powell started, he wanted to raise rates, but raising rates was the wrong thing to do at the time, and the markets told him. He had to reverse the position. Even if Shelton is nominated and makes errors, the market will tell her, and she will have to correct those mistakes. The key thing to remember is that rates are staying low for a long time, and nothing aside from a surprise V-shaped global recovery is going to change that, Picard noted. Central banks are in a blind global, uh, in a bind globally. Uh, I missed, lost my place here. Hold on. <laughs> there is too much world debt, uh, and we are adding significantly more debt because of what's happening with COVID. We will have to have low rates for a long time. If Shelton is going to make a big difference in the equation, I think she can't do anything about the global financial situation. She will have to keep rates low for a long time. And this article goes on. It's quite a lengthy article. Uh, it is clear that COVID-19 crisis is not going to end quickly, Picard added, noting that it's going to be difficult to get a V recovery. It will mean more government spending and more government debt, and that will mean lower rates and a negative real yield in the foreseeable f for future. Uh, price, uh, small price pullbacks, however, cannot be ruled out, but traders should expect to see any price dips as it is bought, says Holmes. 
The gold correction would just mean you buy on the dips. That is the cycle we are in. The White House wants trillion dollars more. We have this massive amount of money printing, and it is helicopter money. It is, it is unprecedented that the Fed would come in to buy ETFs or bonds to get the state yield down. And that article comes to us from Anna uh, Golubova from Kitco News. So guys, what do you think? Um, we haven't heard a whole lot about uh, about her in the community. Um, do you think it'd be good for her to, to, to step in and and uh, and uh, get um, get uh, get the ball rolling on gold prices even further? What do you guys think? Of course, silver is bound to follow as well, so that helps us out also. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, guys. I do greatly appreciate every single one of you, and if you're happy, to appreciate old lady XP. Why don't you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me right there. If you happen to be new to the independent experience and you want to keep up to date on all the latest and greatest content, go ahead and hit that subscribe and jingle jingle bell right there in the corner, bing bong, so you can keep notified of when all the great content comes out. I've been NDXP from the independent experience, and I'm here again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, you should at least find your pockets heavy.